Okay. Hopefully this this works now. I think I I think I got it. Let's see. Let's check. Should come up for me on my phone. Okay, there we go. Guys, I'm sorry. I was having trouble uh getting this live. I could, I was having some problems. It's been a long time since I've streamed. Uh but I think we're ready to go. I have a very scuffed setup right now. Um I have to play the game through OBS instead of like an actual screen. I'm gonna pull the chat up on my phone here. And uh it should it should go swimmingly though. Um but I'll have everything pulled up. We ready to go. Can you hear me? That's that's one thing. I just wanna make sure you guys can hear. Everything's good to go. So if you put it in chat, I'd really appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, today we're going to be playing Rehydrated with Squidward, trying to get as far as we can. So, uh, we've got about two hours of this. Um, I've done it. You can hear me. Awesome. So, we're good to go. I've tried this before with Mr. Krabs, but I thought it'd be a little bit more fun to do it with Squidward this time, because Mr. Krabs, um, it's a little bit easier. Squidward here, I actually just have it pulled up right now. I'm, I was just messing with it. Uh, he's not as like agile as the other characters or just can't do a lot. I mean, I'm using the Unreal Engine Unlocker to uh, Play as him. This is the multiplayer version of Squidward, but I can put him into single player here But he can't do a lot of things here as an example. Let's see if I can I can find one. this button right here Yes, yeah, Squidward will not be able to use that So that's one thing that we got to worry about already but What's up guys? Hey blue knight. Hey Zach pack Hey, Buttermeat, what's going on, guys? Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game, and we're just going to see how far I can get. Um, legit, in two hours, we might get, like, at the most, 20 golden spatulas. It's a lot more difficult than you might think. I might be able to do some other stuff, too, because the Unreal Engine Unlocker also allows me to use... Um, the yeah, debug yeah. camera, Head so I can get out of bounds like and stuff in a, a lot of the cases. Uh, but each time I load a new area, I'm going to have to switch my character. So it won't load into each area as Squidward. I'll have to manually do it every time. Um, but yeah, nice and simple at the beginning, just getting the shiny objects. And uh, you'll notice that all of the sound effects and dialogue is still SpongeBob. <laughs> Sounds simple enough. Oh, and the SpongeBob T-Pose. Every time that we uh, collect a golden spatula, that'll be fun too. Yeah, I just, I have no idea how far we can get. Am I even going to be able to, I don't even know if I can beat the first boss, because I remember in the Sandy boss fight, you got to pound the ground for it to work. Um, yeah, dude, I, I kind of dropped the ball with the whole Twitch thing. It's a lot easier to just stream on YouTube, but thank you for joining as well, Enigma. Uh, the evil hero, how? Uh, well, there's a, I'm playing on the PC. I'll, I guess I can go ahead and just explain this a little bit. There's this thing called the Unreal Engine Unlocker, so the game runs on Unreal Engine 4. Um, and if you da if you have the game on PC and you download this Unreal Engine Unlocker, you can, like, bind it to your game. So, it just allows you to get a bunch... Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stop acting like I even know how this stuff works. I downloaded something, and it allowed me to play a Squidward. That's as far as I can really go for it. Uh, let's let me get the chat back. Sponge dominance. <laughs> so okay, so I think we might be able to get this golden spatula at the top of SpongeBob's pineapple. As I showed earlier, I can't press the button, so I can't get the the platform activated. It is really hard to play this through OBS. All right. Okay. Leap of faith. Got it. Sweet. I was wondering about the lack of streams on Twitch, but I can see how YouTube's easier. It is. But I would like to get on Twitch at one point. I think it'd be nice to, like, grow two separate audiences at the same time, maybe. Um, if I do want to start streaming more often. But we'll see. And I think I can still talk to Patrick. Though. Hey, Patrick. Nice talk. Yes, I can. I'm just going to skip all this dialogue. I'm sure that most of you know all this dialogue already anyways. If you're here, you probably are 
Uh, see, like, every time I walk into a place, it switches me back to SpongeBob. And sometimes I'll have to go through this, uh, this menu at the bottom left. See, there's a debug cam camera. I can automatically defeat a boss. I can unlock all levels, which, to be honest, I might do that at some point. Because we're going to get stuck. There's going to be a point where I can't continue as Squidward because he just lacks a lot of abilities that other characters have. So maybe, like, later on, I can unlock all the levels and then just see how many golden spatulas I can get in each level or something instead of just... See, see every time it switches over. Instead of just uh, trying to play the entire game as Squidward because I already know that's not going to be possible. But let's make our way to Jellyfish Fields. Let's do it. Yeah, dude, I, I mean, obviously they didn't record any special, any, any special audio for Squidward. Um, oh yeah, this is, we can see this too. There's going to be two Squidwards here. I have to switch real quick. Boom. I think it'd be really cool if like I could switch the costume so I can have like injured Squidward, uh, but I can't. I do like, like I told you guys that Squidward lacks mobility. If you guys know about spin stalling in this game, Squidward doesn't have that since he has the projectiles. If I jump in the air and try and spin stall, it just doesn't do anything. So I just got a standard double jump. Um, I guess kind of. Heck, even in this game, I think oh, I think Patrick has a form of spin stalling for his own version. Oh wow. Okay. That was... <laughs> it's not. It's very difficult to. Oh. To hit enemies with Squidward, because you kind of got to be like right in front of them. But I know a couple of techniques, I believe, to... Let's go back here. I'm going to try and do some of the speedrunning stuff that I know and see if it works with Squidward. Now, I'll grab socks along the way because it'll boost my Golden Spatula account. But it doesn't... But doesn't the multiplayer characters have a slam move? Yeah, okay, so, Blue Knight, there is a slam move. And I can use it, but when I try and press buttons in the single player... It just doesn't work. Okay. Maybe I won't do that. There was, there's a little, uh, here, see, here, maybe I can do it. There's a little ledge over here, invisible ledge, that you can usually use to skip part of the level. I wanted to do that with Squidward, but maybe he can't hit the ledge or his hitbox. Oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. Sweet. So we're just going to kind of, like, cheese the level here. Boom. Simple as that. Oh, what about this? I wonder if I can do this one. Let's talk to Gary. Let's see if I can hey, do Gary, this task. Can we appreciate this somehow works? Pretty sure it's using the co-op mode that shall not be named version of the character. It is, and that's the problem, and that's why it doesn't work most of the time. Because uh, obviously Squidward was not built for this. See? Yeah, he, it won't even let me touch that hook, unfortunately. Okay. Well, it brought me down here. Alright, well, I'll just... I'll try not to do... Alright, I need to get myself a checkpoint. So we don't have to keep doing this. Kind of embarrassing myself here. I wonder how Spongebob fighter type game could work. It'd be hilarious. Uh, well, I mean... I guess we got Nick All-Stars Brawl, which is pretty close. I'm just going to go ahead and go, go over here, because I don't want to deal with this anymore, and just uh, pay the clam. And I can demonstrate a little bit more about how the, the buttons don't work for some reason, which is a big problem because they love to use buttons in this game. If you guys want, I know this stream is just playing with Squidward because he's the most difficult character to use, but we can switch to other characters at any time. So if I come over here and try and slam on the switch, it just don't work. And I don't know why. Projectiles are interesting though. I wonder if like... Oh, I guess like fighting King Jellyfish might be a little bit easier because I can just use the projectiles. As long as they register, I'm not sure if they were, will. Ah, oh, like, yeah, see, like, st stuff like this, I can't even use. Ooh, will I even be able to use the button? That button works. Alright. 
Fine. I looked down at my phone as, as soon as I jumped. Did I get the... Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I, got, I did have to be sure that it wouldn't work. Mm. Game's slowing down. The range on the controller that I'm using, the Xbox controller, is like terrible with the PC. So like, I keep trying to like, hang down here, it's more comfortable when I put my arms on the desk, but then the controller just won't work. And then I, I keep falling off ledges and stuff when I do that. Here, let's put it under the desk. That'll work. Okay. I guess the, the beginning is pretty simple because it was built to not be that intricate. So, and we don't have any power-ups yet, so I don't think we're going to have too many roadblocks here for the beginning. But how you guys been? Just, uh, if you want to just, just, just drop random anecdotes in the chat. What do you want to talk about? We've got two hours here. I could constantly talk about how Squidward is difficult to play with, but what do you guys want to talk about? Oh, I miss spin stalling. There we go. Simple enough. I think that was all of the golden spatulas in this area. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I was worried there for a second. I was like, we already hit a huge roadblock. SpongeBob's T pose again. So we got three. Oh, yeah. Another thing, guys, is that um, the slides don't work with these characters. Just, it doesn't work. My controller disconnected. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so you can just, like, run on the slides of these characters, because they don't have any, like, animations for it. It's not multiplayer. Are you guys excited for Cosmic Shake? Because I definitely am. I remember, I, lo I love the fact that it's being built upon Rehydrated, because if I know Rehydrated, it is a broken game, and I love breaking games, and, like glitch hunting and all that. So I'm, I already know I'm going to have a blast with Cosmic Shake. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit more polished than Rehydrated, but <laughs> it's still going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to play the game all the way through, and then just break it to the, the best of my ability. Okay, how are we going to do this? I think I can still press the buttons. Can I even just like, oh, my controller's having a bad day. Can I even hit, I can hit it from there. Oh, that's awesome. But I can't hit the button, so I, I guess I'll have to go over here. Boom. Awesome. Push, 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 push. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. I wonder, I wonder if I can get a review copy. I wonder what the requirements are. How many views do you have to get, Blue Knight? I think I got them. We'll see, though. <laughs> the I don't mind paying for the game because I already know I'm gonna buy multiple copies for like different consoles and stuff. So I don't mind paying for Cosmic Shake at all. That's not why I would want a review copy. My controller. I'm having like Joy-Con drift right now. Um. Anyways. That's not why I'd want a review copy. I just want to want to get the game early because I I know I can beat it in one day, so it's like I can get my videos made and all that sort of jazz before the game even comes out, and I can just release stuff and not have to worry about it. Like that's what I really want to do. So I think after this, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna hit up that email and try and get a review copy. I get a bunch. I could get a whole let's play recorded and edited. <laughs> for <laughs> oh shit! All right, I wasn't supposed to collect that as Patrick, but I forgot that the characters would change immediately. All right, let's switch back to Squidward. Man, that trailer gave me a friend of mine some serious nostalgia because we used to play the hell out of the older SpongeBob games, dude. I just, I just love how we're getting a new SpongeBob game that isn't garbage. Hopefully. I mean, I've seen gameplay, and it looks great, you know? But, and 3D platformers are my favorite. So, 
I mean, it, it literally is. If you guys have taken a look at the hub world, and obviously it's built on rehydrated, it's just a. Se Ooh, would this even work? It's just a, it's a straight up sequel to Battle for Bikini Bottom. I don't think. Excuse me. This is going to work. Come on. Come on. All right. We've hit our first roadblock. How many? We have what? Four golden spatulas. <laughs> Great. Ah, uh, but yes, yes. 3D platformers are my favorite. I love Battle for Bikini Bottom, and to get like basically a direct sequel to it is fantastic. Uh, not sure on requirements. I can send you a DM on Twitter if you want to try and get one. That'd be great, Blue Knight. I'd really appreciate that, man. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine the requirement wasn't too high to get a review copy of a SpongeBob game, but, you know, who knows. I think I tried to get one for Rehydrated, and it didn't work out. I think. I'm pretty sure I tried. <laughs> By the way, guys, I think I'm going to, because I'm playing the game through OBS right now, because for some reason, when I try and use OBS, which obviously I need to record, uh, it turns off the other monitor to play the game, so I have to play it through OBS. But I can play it through this monitor, and there won't be the lag, and I'll have better performance, but there will be no game audio. So I'm going to try and do that real quick. Unfor unfortunately, like I said, there will not be any game audio. Is that okay with you guys? I mean, it's not like... I mean, you guys already know what's probably going to happen. Yeah, see, like, all, all of the problems and the lag I had is gone now. I don't know what the problem is. I'm on my cousin's PC right now, actually. Thanks, Blue Knight. You pre-ordered Cosmic Shake? I don't even think I pre-ordered it. I just always forget to do this stuff. But um, I do want to get that uh, collector's edition. I'll make sure that I get one. Anyways, um, let's see if we can... Can we get another golden spatula out here? Because I know there is one in Squidward's house. I just don't know if it'll work. Anyways, uh, yeah, dude, guys, I was, I'm just going to walk over here with SpongeBob. I was, I was about ready to stream today and my internet went out because I live in Ohio and we have like a little windstorm right now. So I woke up and uh, basically nothing worked. So I had to go over to my cousin's house. That's where I'm at right now. I'm in his room and using his PC to do this stream because all my stuff doesn't work. So it's a little janky right now. I'm trying to work with his equipment. Um, and I don't think we can get this golden spatula. So yeah, everything's a little janky. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, All right, well, <laughs> we can't get this. Well, what am I going to do? Because, hold on. What about socks? Is there enough socks? We have three socks. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. Hmm. I think we're already going to have to go to another level. Which, I mean, we don't have any other levels unlocked. I'm just saying I can use the menu to do that. I wanted to play this basically in order and try and get through all the levels. Is there any other golden spots? spatulas that I can get I don't think so yeah Blue Knight I'm always forgetting that you live in Ohio too yeah poles got knocked down and stuff so my internet is I think it might still be out um, I don't know streaming here I think it just works just fine hopefully I'll be able to stream at my house tomorrow we have my setup and hopefully then audio uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to think of every, so we can get a sock, we can... oh, we can get a sock in, uh, Squidward's house probably still, we can get a sock in Spongebob's house, we could probably get two socks in there, so that'll bring our total to six, then there's some more in Jellyfish Fields, I can't press the button, so I can't get that one, there's one up top, I still don't think we're gonna be able to make it. All right, let's just go to downtown Bikini Bottom. That'll just, I think it'll just make it more fun anyways. So. Um, oh, I can also just, like, get infinite golden spatulas and socks. I think that's what I'm going to do. I can actually go back down to zero. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. I just, oh, why did I do that? I just got rid of all of our golden spatulas. <laughs> all right. Uh, I locked all the levels, so we can just... Let's just see what we can do. It still t shows all the ones that we've collected, so I guess it 
doesn't really matter. So yeah, let's just let's just spawn into the area of jellyfish fields that I want to go to. Yep. Yeah, Internet Ohio is just not it's not good. Anyways, we're look another roadblock immediately. Just can't hit that thing. All right. Next one. Next. Next what is going on? Next one. All right. Let's try over here. We should just be able to scale this area. It shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I forgot to drink my coffee. This is like a few hours old. It's still warm, actually. Never mind. All right, we're good. We're good. What's going on, Skylanders boy? Welcome to the stream. Remember, guys, we are collecting uh, donations for the Center of Suicide Awareness. Uh, we have a Tiltify page in the description. Um, if you guys want, would like to go ahead and donate to that cause. We do have giveaways. We do have uh, different promotions that we're doing. Anybody who donates can get raffled to win, I believe, one of six copies of Cosmic Shake when that comes out. Or, if you prefer, one of 20 copies of Rehydrated. And I'm pretty sure, chances are, if you donate, you'll get one or the other. And we also have uh, other stuff, too. Just check, the, uh, just check the description. We got all sorts of stuff going on down there. Also, played through Rehydrated again, and even though they patched out the extra sock, I managed to see it somehow. Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, so that, I made a video. Can I hit this? Ah, oh, I cannot. So, guys, when Rehydrated came out, I made a video where I, f I had found the 81th sock and Rehydrated. Because uh, there was an extra sock that the developers kind of left just, like, inside the museum. And the hub world, which it wasn't supposed to be there. I think they accidentally just like created one sock and just put it off to the side instead of deleting it. So I found it, found a way to get it, and made a video about it. And it did really well. It has like 16,000 views. Like a lot of people wanted to get this sock, especially because Rehydrated had problems loading socks sometimes, I remember. Um, and then they patched it. And I keep getting comments like all the time, still to this day. It's like, how do I get the sock? It's not working for me. And for, but it, it has been patched, and I was trying to figure out a new way to get it a few months ago because I wanted to make an update video. I wanted to find a new way so that people could still get it, and uh, I couldn't. But I could still see the sock. It was still there. They didn't get rid of the sock. They got rid of the way to get it, but I believe that was just a problem they wanted to patch anyways. Yeah, yeah Blue Knight, the original way just won't work anymore, which sucks because, like I said, a lot of people use that because for some reason, like, one of the socks, one of the normal socks in the game wouldn't load for people. So you wouldn't be able to complete the game or 100% the game that way. And people were just stuck. And even though they patched the, the 81th sock, they didn't patch the problems with the previous socks. So, you know, it was kind of a problem. <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's be a little, let's be a oh be a little daring let's be a little risky I got him cool now I won't be able to wall jump with Squidward I don't believe but there's other ways to scale this area rehydrated just has a problem with game breaking out of bounds stuff <laughs> like like right here for example I can just kind of scale this area ah uh, maybe I won't be able to nope I can, but I can go to another another part and scale the the entirety. Mm, can't get over there. Yeah, this game has a lot of problems, but that's why I love it. Like, I don't even think that I finished half the game before I started looking for glitches. Because immediately, as the game came out, people were posting videos of them just, just ripping into Rehydrated. Like, there was uh, the glitch to... Obviously, get the 81st sock, and then out of bounds stuff. You can get out of bounds in this game, I believe, still to this day, very easily. You can get out of bounds wherever you want. Um, I don't think we're gonna do any of that because that takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of time. And I want to focus on the Squidward thing. So yeah, right over here. See, like I just scaled this entire area and was able to basically make it to the big great void. It's it's very easy. Anybody can do it. You just Kept, keep pressing A, I guess. <sighs> yep, 
Yeah, Blue Knight, I never had any problems with the socks spawning either. It could have been maybe... Because I played the game, I remember, initially on Xbox. And there was not a problem with that. Maybe it was on PlayStation. I know each version had its own problems and its own differences. But I know some some players just couldn't... Some players had problems with socks spawning. So they just couldn't complete the game straight up. It's like if Golden Spatula just wouldn't spawn. It's, it kind of sucks. Don't want to forget about this Golden Spatula. Is he dabbing? <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, what was I going to say? And I remember I was doing challenge videos for Rehydrated. I beat the game without collecting a single shiny object. That was a lot of fun. It took a lot of time. But I remembered to do that. I needed a lot of glitches. I needed a lot of working glitches. So I would erase all the updates and everything on my Xbox so I can get the very first version of the game that was absolutely broken because I mean they released the game with a lot of problems like I said here the King Jellyfish fight is going to be a lot easier they released the game with a lot of problems and I needed some of those glitches to beat the game without collecting any shiny objects so you can if you I don't know what you're playing the game on but I believe on PlayStation and Xbox you can I forget how to do it but I'm sure you can find a tutorial where you can delete all of the updates that the the game the Xbox has given rehydrated, bring it back down to the base version that's just on the disc, then disconnect your internet so when you put the game back in with all the updates gone, it doesn't immediately re-download them, and then you can play that version of the game with the glitch. So if you do want to get that 81st sock, I believe it's still possible, you just have to do that. I know how to do it on Xbox, I'm not sure how to do it on PlayStation, but I believe it's possible on both. So, you can still get the 81st sock, but you're going to have to be willing to play the game with all of its bugs that was on launch day. And I even, I even believe they had a day one patch that you should not download if you want to do that. Uh, did I see a shot of Spongebob in the grass? when this, Oh, yes. So, uh, I, w I explained it earlier when I started the stream. There is no animation for when Squidward collects a shiny object, so it just loads SpongeBob and into, into a T pose every time. And we're gonna collect a shiny object down here so I can like give you guys a better shot at it. And these slides are going to be annoying because <laughs> there's no slide animation. Uh, good news is there's no way to fall off of it, um, which in Kelp Forest would actually be very useful. All right, guys, we have to remember that I actually have five golden spatulas. I was stupid and deleted the other four because I wanted to show that I could gain and lose golden spatulas at will whenever I wanted with the, with this Unreal Engine Unlocker because I think it's fun. Um, oh, how am I going to get up there, actually? Wait a minute. Uh, I need... <laughs> Dude, I need the friggin'... Uh, slide animations to get up here I need the slide I can't get up here I don't think maybe if I get a really good jump no dude I can't get the golden spatula well I did all that for nothing I did get the king jellyfish's jelly though so we can go back to Squidward and go get that oh since I'm not Spongebob it actually doesn't load that trigger right there See, it just keeps... Dude, I wonder where I can... Will it launch me to the same place? Or... Anyways, I'm just going to have to pause the game. And and just warp back to this area. That'll work. That will work. Yeah. Can I talk to him and get it? Yep, Squidward talks to Squidward. And so... Uh, here. This is... No! No! All right, I will show you. I'll show you later the depots. I just need a better shot of it. I don't think it's possible to delete patches on PS4 or Switch unless you delete or uninstall the game and the re-download and reinstall. I think. Oh, yep. Yeah, I think that's what I did. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I uninstalled the game, and then so you uninstall the game. Uh, make sure you have to. You're gonna have to have the disc. I believe you're gonna have to have the the, the disc to do this. Uninstall the game. Take the disc out. Turn off your Wi-Fi on the console, put the disc back in, and then it'll just let you play the base version. It'll just straight up read the disc with no updates at that point. 
So that's Jellyfish Fields. We were not able to get four of the golden spatulas, the one here with uh, the bungee jump. We were not able to get this one in the, in the caves. We were not able to get... Wait a minute. We might be able to get that, actually. Here, look. If I spawn over here, I can go backwards into those caves and possibly get it then. See, I couldn't go to through the entrance of the caves, but I can go through the the exit. Yeah. All right. Yes, I'm in here. The I just don't know. Ah, oh, it's one of these again. I just yeah. I don't think uh, I might not be able to do this. Okay, it was worth a try. It was. Oh wait. It was worth a try. Yeah, that makes a, a lot worse sense. Blue Knight. It had just been a long time since I had done it. Um, but yeah, I did it so that I could beat the game without collecting any shiny objects. That was a lot of fun. And actually, at the same time, I was I beat the game without with only using SpongeBob, which another YouTuber did. The sucky part is is uh, as like as soon as the game released, I found all these glitches and stuff. I beat the game only using SpongeBob, and it took like 20 hours. It was a lot of work. And then I got lazy, and I just sat around with the footage and didn't make the video for a while. And then as I started to make the video, another YouTuber released the same concept. So I just scrapped that video entirely because it's like, once somebody's done it, it's like, why would you make another video on it? Unless I use different tactics, but I don't know. I still had the footage from beating the game with, um, without collecting any shiny objects, so I still had a video. But it does suck that I... There was a complete video that I was never able to release because somebody did it before me. But it, it was my fault because I sat on that footage for like a month and didn't make the video because, you know, it was going to be a lot of work and I just hadn't gotten started. So it's my fault. Um, but yeah. I believe we. Oh, wait, what am I doing? We can't even press those buttons. <laughs> okay, there's there's one already we can't get. A lot of problems, and we can't. If we go to the sea needle, we won't be able to get both of those. And here's another button. Oh, downtown bikini bottom is gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a big problem. Let me show you guys something real quick. So I can't. Oh, I gotta sift all the way through this uh, menu again. You can only go forwards on this menu, on this debug menu, or whatever. I think it's a debug menu. You can't go backwards, so if I miss it for some reason, I have to go all the way through. So, if, like, I'm Mr. Krabs or something, he has spin stalling like Spongebob would have. It's a little bit different, but, like, I can get an extended jump out of it, you see? And, but Squidward doesn't have it. Even Gary has it. Uh, Plankton does not. This character sucks. Um, oh, oops. I just switched to SpongeBob and it loaded the cutscene. But I'll go back to Squidward. I'll go back to Squidward. I wonder what I can even get. What? Dude, will I be able to get a single golden spatula down here? Like going downtown's gonna be a big. Oh, well, I mean, I am downtown, but like going to the the swinging section or the rooftops, that's gonna be a big problem. I had an idea of a Tide Tasmanian Tiger video where the goal was to collect no opals. Never got around to it, but someone did do it a good while after I mentioned it. That sounds like a lot of fun. I love those kinds of challenges. Like, I mean, I've done a couple. I think only what I've done two. You know, I, obviously I beat Sly 2 without jumping and pressing the circle button. Or I, I got real close to it. and Or I did a video on it. And then the Spongebob one. Um... But I love doing that stuff. It's just when it's an idea like that sounds impossible. A lot of the time it is. I've tried to one of them, which I got really far. I got really far, and I think I'm gonna do it again. Is beating Pac-Man World Two without collecting any dots, any of the main collectible? Cause I got I got to like the Snow World, and I ran into a big problem. But I could probably beat most of the game that way. What the hell just happened? Is that even supposed to happen? All right, well I'm here. It's a golden spatula up there, 
and I think, I dude, I, I I'm being serious. I think that downtown bikini bottom might be wraps. I think it might be wraps. This is this is tough. I can probably get to the sea needle though, but I, can I even get anything? I don't think so. Dude, we gotta go somewhere else. All right, let's go to let's let's go to Google Lagoon, dude. I'm screwed. This is this sucks. Or it doesn't suck. It's fun, but it it's tough. Yeah, yeah, dude. I love I love making those videos. And that's oh yes yes, dude. I I want to make a cosmic shake without collecting any of the the new collectible, whatever it is, cosmic goo, dude. I don't I don't I don't know if it's possible yet because the game's not out. But I'm going to be on that shit. I'm going to be on it. And obviously I can defeat any of the enemies. Alright, let's see. What can I do here? Oh, yeah, by the way, he has, like, no bash move either. I mean, it has a slam move. But it doesn't even work on the buttons, bro. Alright, I can probably... I wonder if his projectiles will work. Popping those balloons over there to save the kids. Because I, I might be able to do that. Nope. So it seems like, for the most part, a lot of the golden spatulas that I'm going to be getting here are ones that are just straight platforming. Because then I don't have to worry about special moves or anything like that. Yeah, dude. I, I had made a video where I tried to do this with Mr. Krabs. And Mr. Krabs is a lot easier. Because he can, there's a lot more than Mr. Krabs can do just because of spin stalling, like period. It helps out a, oop, oop, game is slowing down. Okay, there was a lot of lag there. Jelly orbs, yeah, I think it was Cosmic Goo. I think that's what they said on the Steam page. Dude, <laughs> the game is bugging out, like. The rumble was working for my controller because I got hit by one of those enemies, and now it won't stop rumbling. Game really likes to slow down here. It did on any version that I played. Which which bring which reminds me, I have no idea why they are not releasing Cosmic Shake on new consoles. Because it seems to me like Rehydrated has a problem running on the previous gen. Of course, they, they know more now, and I think a lot of it has to do with it being sort of a new studio, or at least new to creating like platformers and console games like that. I know Purple Lamp did like some mobile games previously, maybe a console game. So they weren't too used to this kind of stuff. And I think that might be one of the reasons why Rehydrate had, a, had like such long load times and stuff. The game plays and looks beautiful. It was just like small technical stuff like that. I know that Rehydrate had a problem. So maybe now that it's their second time around and they can tweak the, the Rehydrated engine or whatever they did. Or yeah, basically this time around maybe they can run it a little bit better on PS4 and Xbox One. I'm just a little concerned because of how poorly Rehydrated ran. Hey, but we'll see. I really I really hope it, it does well. I'm going to play it no matter what, dude. I didn't care about it. I, uh, the load times were a little annoying, but like it didn't stop me from playing Rehydrated last, last time. The game played and looked fantastic. I get, Oh, here's the T-Pose, by the way. Oh, thank you, Riley, for the 125. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, I, I, guys, I tried to get the uh, little progress bar up there last minute. I'm sorry I couldn't get it after this stream. I'm immediately going to get to work onto it, so I'll have it tomorrow. Um, but, yeah. Thank you very much for the donation, by the way. I really wish I was reading donations right now. But, yeah. But, yeah, I, I, dude, I really want to... I hopefully, hopefully we can make a video where where we beat the game without collecting any cosmic goo. the The levels are pretty open world, so it's what it seems like at least. So, the, like maybe some out of bounds stuff. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for like game breaking bugs. 
Uh, oh, there's no spin stalling. I might have a problem here. There's no spin stalling, because I would use spin stalling to get up here usually. Can I even... Uh, Maybe I can. I'll do. I'll try and do a little bit more finessing, and I died. <laughs> okay. Looking at the IGN Pirate Goo Lagoon footage, which was either Xbox One or Switch version, I did notice a slight pop up in upon slight pop in upon starting a level. What do you mean a slight pop in upon starting a level? What do you mean by that? Oh, by the way, I. I know it had Rehydrate had some problems on console, but it runs gloriously on PC. Gloriously. Look, like two second load, not even two seconds. All right, we're having problems again. And I already know for a fact we're not even going to be able to get to the other end. So let's go to the pier. It's like, I don't even know if we can get half of the golden spatulas in this game with Squidward. He's just such a <laughs> terrible character. I know, but the thing is, he was not built for multiplayer. If I could hit the buttons, though, uh, like the bash move is supposed to do, then uh, it probably I'd probably have a lot more. Yeah. Um, what are you guys most excited for with Cosmic Shake? Is there anything that you're particular? dude <laughs> we are having one heck of a time uh, but yeah is there anything specific you guys are really looking forward to with rehi not rehydrated with uh cosmic shake like i said me personally i love the open world aspect of it my favorite thing to do especially with content creation is breaking the game so unfortunately the less polished the game is the more excited i am um but I, I'll, I'll love to play the base game and then try and, like, break it up. It's just, like, my favorite thing to do. Like, stuff like what we're doing right now. Like, texture's not fully loading. Oh, but it's definitely not as bad as Rehydrated did at certain points with loading certain sections. Dude, the Switch version of Rehydrated was crazy. And I don't know what to do here. Are we kidding? There's no way we're capped out. If I can find a way to get over there, I can do bumper boats. If I can find a way to get over there. Hmm. My controller is having a lot of problems. <laughs> it sounds like a, a straight up excuse, but like I'm actually having like Joy-Con drift in my controller or controller drift. I really hope to pre-order the physical release of Cosmic Shake for my Switch, but the delivery estimate is like three weeks after the release. Almost a month at that point. Dude, where do you live? That's a, that's crazy. I mean, if you always have the extra money, you know, you could download the digital version, and if you're still keen on g getting the physical one for, like, collector's reasons... And you can do that as well. What is going on? There's severe lag going on with my controller. Hopefully, it's not the batteries. Because I don't want it dying. It did disconnect earlier. I know that was a problem. Alright, where are we going next? Alright, real quick. Just like two, three of you or hell, one of you. Just where are we going next? Let me know. <laughs> Which level? Speaking of the Switch version, uh, I for some reason keep thinking the analog stick is going to break the entire time. Meanwhile, on PS4, it's smooth as can be. If you're using the Joy-Cons, the... Yeah, it's pretty... The the, the stick is pretty uh, terrible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it, it also depends on where you're uh, ordering it from. I think we might go Mermelair. I feel like... Nope, this isn't. we're not going to have any luck with this because, dude, how am I supposed to even get over there? I was able to do a little bit more finessing with uh, Mr. Krabs, but let's try and go to a level that I feel like we're going to have some luck with. Let me think. We could probably go to the dream section. I think we could, we could do well at the, at the dream section. SpongeBob's dream. 
Oh, did you see the... Ah, oh, I should have just kept it there. You see the floating mustache. All right, this might be a little difficult. I do miss spin stalling. All right, let's do this. Precise platforming. Oh, no. Dude, I, there is some severe lag in my controller. I got it, though. It's just a, it's just a little bit more uh, of a challenge. I could use it. Ooh, ooh. I could use a challenge. Maybe. Nope. Wait, are they going <laughs> to... This might be a little bit of a problem. Oh, Tanner said Kelp Forest. Let's go to Kelp Forest. Whatever you want, Tanner. Dude, this controller. Let me uh, reconnect it. Hopefully that helps. That's not Kelp Forest. This is Kelp Forest. All right, let's do it. Like I said, the kelp forest, this might help on the kelp, kelp forest slide because uh, there's no animation for the actual slide. I'll just be walking down it. Ah, uh, the little jump rope. I believe there's still a way to compose. Oh, wow. To completely break this area because I remember you can just kind of like jump up this thing. I don't remember the exact path to take. Uh, right here. Because you can kind of just like land on invisible stuff. And then make your way up here. I just need to find the next thing to land on. The hitboxes for Squidward might be a little bit different too. So I might Ah, there it is. Boom. We just did the the level in reverse order. Praise the magic conch shell. Oh yeah, dude. The the switch uh, storage is pretty terrible. Just like built in storage. Where was the? Oh, so I gotta go to the very bottom. Well, this. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna. Can I? Ah, uh, it won't let me like try and skip it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Why did it bring me to the very bottom? All right, that worked, dude. It just spawned me at the bottom. Here's the T pose again. So we got eight golden spatulas so far with Squidward. That's not good. Like I said, I think we're gonna struggle to get twenty in this entire stream. I think it's gonna be a problem. Ah, I keep forgetting to switch after I load. Oh wait. I wasn't supposed to go there. So I'll go, hold on, I'll go back here. And then I go reverse order through. Nope, no, that's not what I meant to do. I keep, I just keep loading the wrong area. To be honest, I haven't looked at a ton of Cosmic Shake stuff. Like, I've, I've seen some of the trailers, and I just stopped paying attention at one point. I'm going to make it a little bit more of a surprise for myself. I know I made a couple of videos. I'm going to make sure to collect this with Squidward. I know I made a couple of videos at the very beginning, but eventually I just started to uh, try and keep it a surprise. There's a time trials we can do. I don't think that's going to work, though. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the beginning, see what we can do with Squidward. Because, I mean, we really just got to get to the very end over there, and then we're good. Oh, nope, I got to go all the way back in the menu now. Boom. Boom. Let's do some other fun stuff, too. Let's, like, get infinite shiny objects. That sounds like fun. What is going on? I can also make myself have, like, 900-some golden spatulas. Go to the very beginning. Dang it. I just... I passed it again. Here, I just set my shiny amount to 100,000. At... Oh, uh, I now have 84 socks. Oh, nope. I actually have 2,000. No, wait, hold on. I have 3,000. Nope. 
I have 4,000 some socks. So Blue Knight, if this this might actually fix your problem a little bit. Oops, I just I accidentally. Yeah, I <laughs> I put slow mo on on accident. So we can also do this with the golden spatulas, and we can get infinite golden spatulas. I'm just gonna make it look pretty. Oh, I didn't know they had a mystery project they were working on. Oh, Purple Lamp is doing another Nickelodeon property. Let's think outside the box. I know we got a lot of Jimmy Neutron fans uh, around. I, I, I would like to see a proper Fairly Odd Parents game. I think that would be awesome. Because there's a lot you can do with that. I mean, it's all about magic. It's all about wishes like you can just like think of it. this infinite possibilities to where you could take the story to where you could take the gameplay like you can switch the gameplay up all the time because if timmy wishes for new things then like i believe in one of the game because i haven't played actually any fairly odd parents games i know there is some i know in one of the games he becomes a giant robot that was in the show i mean you can just do a lot of stuff it is not excessive balloon i, I am on the grind Okay. I'm working. <laughs> I'm godlike right now. So we're in this area now, and I don't know what we're, we're going to be able to do. Oops. What's up, Mr. Krabs? In fact, I mean, I, th I think 5,000, uh, it's a little light, a little low. Might have to fix that later on. Oh, hit my funny bone. Not cool. Yes, we want the golden spatula up there. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to reach it yet. I can't hit any of this. Kelp Forest is wraps, guys. This is ridiculous. It's wraps because we can't hit any of the levers and switches. What if we can do a whole bunch of other stuff too? Shadow Showdown. Was that... Uh, like I said, I haven't played any of the... Uh, Fairly Odd Parents games. I have one on the Xbox, the original Xbox. Um, I think it's the most popular one. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Well, we could also play with the debug camera, but that actually that crashes my game sometimes. Let's see. What else have we got? What's some other things that we can do? Um. Actually, I don't know if there's much else to do uh, with that menu other than debug camera, but like sometimes it will crash my game and I'll have to restart it, so I don't want to do that. Yeah, but let's go to, um, dude, going, let's go down. Oh, yes, let's go down the Sand Mountain uh, slides, but we don't have to actually slide. So, like, we can properly explore them this time around. Ooh, tech games. Yeah, Breaking the Rules was the one that I have, but I haven't played it. I really should just pl I really should play it. So we can just straight up hang out on these slides. I wonder if, dude, can I even make this first jump? Okay, there we go. We made the jump, and I died. Anyways, I wish I could just lay back and. Can I oh, this work? The controller's a little bit janky and I might have to yell for you to hear me. But I think this setup can work. I'm just kidding. Alright. Mm, I did it the first time. Let's do it again. Danny Phantom game. That'd be cool too. See, the thing is, it's like... I know a lot of you guys around these parts, around in this community, watch a lot of like Danny Phantom, Jimmy Neutron. I didn't personally. I had I had seen it. I had seen episodes. I I watched Jimmy Neutron. I watched some Danny Phantom, but it's like I can't remember much from it. You know. Oh, 
this is gonna be difficult. I will say that I'm only 20 years old, so a lot of you guys are a little bit older than me. That's probably one of the reasons. So I grew up with a lot of SpongeBob. Oh, but here, let me answer your question. What? I, oh, wait, I, I guess I did. I, I'd want to see Fairly Odd Parents. What else? Um, I don't know. I was a big. I was really just a big SpongeBob guy, straight up. Guys, is that it? Is that? I'm gonna try this one more time because if that's as far as we can get on the slide, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I'm gonna be very disappointed. Yeah, I watched. I just watched a lot of Nickelodeon for SpongeBob, and I watched Victorious and iCarly and a lot of the live action shows. I didn't watch a ton of the cartoons. It was just mainly just SpongeBob and Fairly Odd Parents. Oh wait. Let's get on this guy. Boom. We did it. Ooh, I do like Invader Zim, though. I did watch some Invader Zim. They had that on a lot. I remember on Nicktoons. You guys ever watch Nicktoons? I'm not talking about just, like, Nickelodeon cartoons, but there was a separate channel called Nicktoons. And I think it might have shut down. I'm not sure. I remember Nickelodeon, dude, like on, <clears throat> oh, that worked. I guess I just had to walk on it. It triggered it. Nickelodeon had a bunch of sister channels where there was like Teen Nick, where it played a bunch of the live action sitcoms most of the time. They had Nickelodeon, Nicktoons, and obviously Nick Jr., but really Nicktoons, Teen Nick, and Nick would just cycle the same shows. Like they all played the shows from each other's channels and it's like at one point there wasn't even really a purpose to have them separated and i think this is it guys i think this is our limit dude squidward sucks he really does oh yeah dude if anything listen let's let's be honest if anything i want another spongebob game purple lamp can make 10 spongebob games i will not get sick of it i won't Maybe, maybe I will after 10. But I would like... Because they can do a lot of stuff with it. There's obviously the platformers, which I'm really into. Let's get a third Battle for Bikini Bottom type game after Cosmic Shake. That'd be awesome. Or I also loved Lights, Camera, Pants. I was a big fan of Lights, Camera, Pants. So if they can do another party game, that would be awesome. LT Gray Chalk Zone. I did never see Chalk Zone, though. I've never watched that. I've just heard people talk about it. El, El Tigre, I did watch a little bit. Um, There's some obscure shows. I watched a lot of Power Rangers on uh, Nicktoons as well. Like I said, they would... They, sometimes they would... At, towards the end, I don't think they played a lot of tunes. Cartoons. I think they just played whatever they wanted from the Nickelodeon library. But yeah, SpongeBob games... All the way, you know. Anyways, dude, we gotta, we just gotta get working here. Like, there, how, we're gonna struggle to hit. Oh uh, wait, I keep forgetting that I keep messing with the uh, the golden spatula counter. So there's four here, two here. That's six, seven. Wait. 8, 9, 10. We're going to struggle because we're one hour in. We're going to struggle to hit 20. I'm actually going to go back to SpongeBob's Dream because I think I can do a little bit better. Yes, yes, Barnyard. Yes, I want to see a Barnyard game. I forgot about that show. Um, I loved Barnyard. They played that a lot on Nicktoons, I remember. Back at the Barnyard, dude. I need to rewatch that. <clears throat> Because it's like, I have so many memories associated with that show, but if you ask me to name the plot of two episodes, I couldn't. The only, I literally only remember the plot of one episode, even though I watched a lot of it, and that was when there was like a rat, a, a really big rat that was cheating at a dice rolling game, and he liked cinnamon rolls, I think. <laughs> you guys remember that episode? Uh, let me know. 
because I kind of remember it. It's the only, like, real memory. Like, that's the only coherent plot from Barnyard that I could piece together in my mind. But I know that I watched a lot of it growing up. What to do, what to do. Can I... Realistically... Let me get down here. I'll pay this clam. Wait. Can I hit that? Well, if I pay the clam, this will give me the boost I need to get up here. And then I really just need to do some precise platforming to get to this golden spatula. Dude, I love... Lo oh. I love this. We got Squidward next to Giant Squidward. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they did get Mr. Krabs' voice. That's awesome. Yeah, I do remember the movie, too. I, once again, I don't remember the plot. I remember the main character had a baby. I remember, I think the dad died. <laughs> just, like, very simple stuff. But I just remember really liking it. This is going to be difficult. A platforming section with no spin stalling. So can't really correct her jumps here except for the double jump. Can use the double jump. It's really hard to think of really old shows that I haven't seen in a long time. Because I'll be honest, I don't spend a lot of time watching TV anymore. Every once in a while, like, when there's a new Walking Dead episode, I liked watching that. that and that show just ended. So it's like I watch The Walking Dead. Sometimes I'll watch a new Power Rangers still. Uh, but really, I don't watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of YouTube. That's usually what I watch. I'll catch SpongeBob if my sister's watching it, of course. But I, I don't watch as much TV as I as you guys might assume. As, mu as much as I am really into all this nerdy stuff, a lot of it is from memory. And if, but don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to sink hours and hours into Cosmic Shake. There's no way that I'm not. Cosmic Shake gets me excited because, I mean, obviously, I haven't been super around the channel. You know, the past, like, two years, 2020, I was pretty consistent. Um, I, I believe so. But I don't know. After a while, you just kind of run out of... What is going on here? Dude, dude, <laughs> you run out of stuff to do, but Cosmic Shake is going to give me a whole boost that I need, a lot of content ideas. It's going to be a lot of fun. And yes, Barnyard Game all the way. I would like to re... Is it, do any of you guys like the Rabbids games? Because I love the Rabbids games, and I love the Rabbids, but I feel like I'm all alone in my opinion there. People seem to hate them. I know Mario plus Rabbids is pretty popular. But I was looking at Mario plus Rabbids when that was announced from the perspective of, I want a new Rabbids game, and this looks awesome. I know when the Mario plus Rabbids was announced, people were like, what the heck is this? And we're not happy about it. Obviously, once the game released consensus what it's pretty good but I don't know I've always been a pretty big rabbits fan especially rabbits go home the platform game oh Sonic Prime I I'm not I don't know much about Sonic but yeah I've seen the movies <laughs> I played him in Smash Bros <laughs> yeah I don't know a lot about Sonic but I haven't played like a I don't know if, I don't know if I've played a Sonic game all the way through yeah, YouTube's just a lot easier to watch. You should watch Dino Fury since Cosmic Fury is coming in the fall. I hope you know. Oh, I know. Dude, I have been checking out uh, a lot of the new Power Rangers stuff. Uh, what? Did I not open the, up the other box? We can get this this golden spatula. Dude, don't worry. I'm keeping up with all of that. Um, I've seen Dino Fury up into... Up until I believe season two, episode eleven. So I'm almost done with that show. I'm like three fourths of the way through. So yeah, I've been keeping up relatively well, and with the news, especially with the the anniversary season, all that. 
I just haven't been making videos. If you guys don't know, I also have a, a channel uh, where I talk about Power Rangers, but I haven't been super consistent on that. I just haven't been on it. Um, but yeah, dude, I have been keeping my eye on everything that goes on. Don't worry. Really enjoyed the first Mario plus Rabbids. Still want to get second game mainly because Rayman is coming as DLC. That'll be pretty cool. Dude, I... Let's see what... Here, let's go to the Mr. Krabs one. I bought the second Mario plus Rabbids, and this is kind of stupid. I, I really should have just, like, been paying attention and, like, done my research. I just assumed that that game would have multiplayer because the first one did. And I only ever really played the first game because of its multiplayer. I liked playing it with my friends. It was a lot of fun. I still do. I still play it all the time with my friends. It's probably one of the games I've played the most still was that first Mario plus Rabbids. How do I... Oh. Uh, and I bought the second game just assuming that it would have multiplayer as well. And it didn't. So I haven't played the second game yet. I have it though. Which is very unfortunate. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Because I, oh, I did try and play the, the campaign for the first game. I just didn't like it. I don't, I don't really like, I didn't really like it. I like the multiplayer. And then I bought the, just recently, for the first time, I bought the, the DLC to the first game. The, the Donkey Kong DLC. Come to find out, you have to beat the first world in the single player to play the DLC, which is stupid because I bought it. It was $16. And then I hop on the game, and it won't let me play it. Because I haven't beaten that part of the the campaign. Which I think is ridiculous, but... So I guess I'm almost done with World 1 now, so I can play that DLC with my friends. But yeah, and then I got duped on the second game. That was my fault, though, because I didn't look it up, and there's no multiplayer. Oops. What just happened? Hold on one second, guys. It just crashed. Hold on. Sorry about this. Sometimes this happens. Using the Unreal Engine Unlocker to put the mods on, it'll crash the game. Hopefully. Okay, we're back. All right, sorry about that. Crashed. Yeah, dude, it sucks that it doesn't have multiplayer. Oh wait, dude, I just need to be. I need to keep up with uh, the Cosmic Shake stuff. Does that have multi? Does Cosmic Shake have multiplayer? I don't think it does. <laughs> One thousand forty-one golden spatulas. <laughs> That's awesome. Donkey Kong can't be played in multiplayer? Wait, <laughs> Blue Knight, please tell me there's an... I'm, I'm, is there... There's another map. There's a new map, right? A new multiplayer map? For the DLC? Because if not, I, I legit wasted my money because I don't play the, the campaign. Squidward. I like how the, the lighting is different on both of them. All right, I I'm just so stuck, guys. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Rock a bottom. There's no map, dude. I wasted my money. See, this is I. It's just my problem. I don't. I don't. I guess I just didn't research stuff enough. Bought the second game, thinking there was multiplayer. Bought the DLC from the first game, thinking there was multiplayer. But uh, to be honest, or or maybe you're talking about maybe you're talking about Cosmic Shake. I don't know. Either way, I need to uh, pay attention to some stuff, I guess. All right, so 
collecting these paintings, we might be able to do it. Yeah, dude, I just, uh, I just assumed there was, I thought it said there was a new map. Anyways, maybe I'll get around to playing it, I don't know. What can we do here? Let's see what kind of possibilities we got. Maybe we should go out of bounds. That would be a lot of fun. Because this Squidward stuff is kind of a dead end because he can't do anything. Can do that, but doesn't really do anything. All right. Come on. Can't hit that. These later levels, dude. I wonder if we can. Let's see. Hmm. We are just kind of screwed here. I I kind of want to try Flying Dutchman's graveyard, actually. All right, let's try it. Ah, uh, we're SpongeBob again. Okay, so we won't be able to get the one with the rolling ball. I know that, because obviously we can't turn into the rolling ball. And Squidward can't wall jump. Hmm. Oh wait, ooh, can I still hit these? I don't know if it'll do anything. I don't think so. But maybe I can get on the top. Oh, that was close. Hmm, I don't know if I can do that. Although the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard is a little open-ended. Like, see these, le these, these rocks right here? And this is what I was doing when I was trying to beat the game with only SpongeBob is a lot of the time I would just use these rocks to like get around the level because I couldn't be sandy and like hang glide across certain areas like I was supposed to. So this level is pretty broken and I might see yeah, this is really broken. I might be able to explore it with Squidward this way. Oh, dang it. See see how this is really broken. I'm going to try that again because I think I can get on one of those rocks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't put multiplayer in it since they had it in the first game. It, hopefully it comes down the line. That's why I didn't return the game is because I, I'm hoping there's multiplayer eventually. But let's try this again. I think I can make my way over this. Yeah, dude, I could totally do that if I just get on the ledges right. So you're supposed to do these wall jumps right here, but I'm godlike right now, so I'm not going to. All right. Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So we just got to get up here. Oh, there's no solid ground. What's going on over here? Hmm. Yep. This is a problem. What about over here? Because I need to get up there if I want to cross the level. Hmm, that's in the cage. This one's a tough one. I feel the. I know I've kind of given up on a lot of the other ones, but I don't want to give up on this level because it just seems like if, if everything just goes right, like if I just keep if I keep trying in these little areas, I think it might work out. It's just like everything's so close, like just too close. It just seems a little too a little too possible, if you know what I mean. Because there's these little things that you can, like, manipulate in this game, which I love. 
And hopefully Cosmic Shake's like that too. What other kind of games are you guys looking forward to? Is there anything in specific that you guys been looking looking after? I know Cosmic Shake. And actually I want to see the last of a show. That looks good. Top five games of 2022, or best games of 2022. The thing is, is I don't play a lot of new games. I play a lot of old games. I replay Rehydrated. I replay the original Battle for Bikini Bottom. I replay Sly Cooper. Is there any, I, I played Portal for the first time in 2022. So I guess this is Bass's game, best games of 2022, just the ones I played. I played Portal for the first time. That was a lot of fun. I just got Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and I will be playing that. Yeah, I guess you, yeah, you can switch controllers at every turn, for every turn. All right, let's uh let's do something a little bit different. I can switch to Mr. Krabs. Let's see if this helps at all because he has his own version of spin stall. See, like right now, platforming is just a lot easier because I can correct my platforming a lot easier. I say that as I just like completely screw the pooch and. I don't know what's going on here. Wait, Blue Knight, did you ever play much of Kingdom Hearts? I feel like... Have you made a video on it? I don't know. Kingdom Hearts 4, is that coming out next year? I never finished Kingdom Hearts 3. I've really just played Kingdom Hearts 1 and Rechain of Memories a bunch. What about you guys? Played any Kingdom Hearts games? Oh, wait! There's a rock behind that one that I could possibly get on. Yeah, Kirby, I, I really want to play that one. I've been w waiting to play with my one friend, though, who also wants to play it. I don't, I don't necessarily love to play a lot of single player I, even if it's a single player game I like to play games with with friends unless it's like this game in Sly Cooper which I just wow I, I suck at this game I'll just go absolutely crazy on and do all sorts of challenges and break the game and obviously I'll play it by myself at that point and there's nobody really else that I'm good friends with personally or in person that shares my passion for a Spongebob game and a Sly Cooper game Uh, never played Kingdom Hearts. I completely, I totally recommend it, dude. It's a lot of fun. You can spend a lot of time on it, too. And it's 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 like a grindy game, but not in an annoying way. You know? What about, ooh, I, I think I played a good bit of Donkey Kong 64 this year. I had played it a lot in my childhood, but I never beat it because it's a long game. Okay, mm hmm, mm hmm. Because it's a long game. Same with Banjo Kazooie. I just recently beat it for the first time. I had. You guys ever have that game where you just constantly replay and replay the beginning and you just never end up beating it? That was me with those games for a long time. Alright, what else could we do here? <laughs> Let's go out of bounds. Frick it. Let's, I don't want to curse too much on here because it's a charity event, so I'll say frick. Um. Let's go out of bounds. Let's have some fun since I Squidward is getting me nowhere. Hmm. Let's go out of bounds in the hub world. I think that'd be a lot of fun. We can explore a whole bunch. And I believe that I can use the debug camera. To do this. Boom. Uh, I gotta, if I press something, I forget what to press. Uh, 
Um, that's not it. There's something that I can press to teleport myself. Um, hold on. Hmm. Yeah, this debug menu can do some cool stuff. Or this debug camera. There's a way to teleport myself. Obviously, that stays there. Oop, didn't mean to do that. I gotta go all the way back now. Can't use it on the keyboard anymore. All right, there's a there's a, there's a certain way. How did I do it? Oh, how did I teleport myself? Dog oh, guys, I swear, I swear, I did this at one point. That's not working. Hmm, this is strange. You enjoyed Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Please say you're capping right now. Please say you're not. You're, please say you're being facetious. There was a certain button that I pressed. Dude, I, I don't know what it was. That I swear I could teleport myself. Alright. How do I get out of this? We can go out of bounds. It was just going to be a lot easier if I... I think I used the... Uh, pretty sure I used the keyboard, but for some reason it doesn't want to work right now. Nick All Stars Bra Brawl 2? Dude, I didn't play the original. See, I. Is it weird to say that I don't play many new video games? I know it seems like I would. But I really just end up playing a lot of the same games that I've played for years. Get rid of this. Oh, I just showed the collision profiles. Yeah. There's some. Here, let's, let's see how weird I can make this game. Show ground material. <laughs> Dude, oh, this is gonna make this really weird. What else can we do? Show ledges. Okay, now we're gonna we'll just turn everything neon. Show comp. Oh, dude, let's play the game like this. Reset. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Nah, dude, Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. I'm not. It's just. It was really boring for me. Personally. Alright, so if I'm up here, I can kind of. Oh, I can't really see that well. There's a way to get out of bounds just by manipula manipulating the jumps. Like this. You can just keep going out of bounds like this, and eventually you'll be able to. It'll just make you go higher, higher, and higher. It takes a long time though. That's why I tried to get the debug camera working. Because I was able to previously when I used the debug camera to just teleport myself. And I'm not I can't remember how I did it. Oh, come on. Oh, do you guys remember the little ledge glitch here? The game released. Alright, what else? I'm gonna try and set everything to default because this is. For some reason, it doesn't want to work. I'm gonna try and get the. my keyboard working because I believe I used that to do it. Go back to main menu. That's what I used last time when I wanted to use the debug camera like that. So I'll go back to this pro the save state. 
it only wants to use my controller once so I'm actually gonna restart this the game and see if that helps um, was the Unreal Engine unlocker even working is that maybe that was the problem I think it might have turned off anyways Let's open back up rehydrated. Inject the DDL, and then it should work. It should work now. Yeah, actually, that is pretty fun, just playing the game in Neon Edition. Oop. Ah, just... Yeah, I have some problems doing this sometimes. Let's try it again. Cause I want to I want to show you guys some cool stuff before I have to go. Hold on, dude, this is a mess. Ah, oh, this is a disaster. Hold on. Okay, I should. Get it now. Work. Please. Please work. Alright, we'll continue. Let's go to this save file. Hopefully, it just changes some stuff. Um. Let me turn on. Come on. All right. There we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. So if I go over to the debug camera using my keyboard and mouse instead of the controller, it might change some things. So now if I move spun, so okay, I'm controlling the camera now. Uh. Oh, I think that was my problem. I think I needed to move the camera. So if I move it like this, then press a certain button. It should have. Okay, it's not working. So, uh, anyways, I will make sure that it's working for tomorrow. I promise you guys. Well, as long as I figure it out, but I will try and get it working for tomorrow. Right now, it doesn't uh, it doesn't seem to want to. So let me go back to main menu so I can get out of this debug camera. Then we'll go back into the game. Go back into here. Anyways, here we go. So we're back here. So it's an Unreal. I'm already imagining a Spyro model. I'm sure you can get it. There's a lot of mods that I just have don't have for this that you could probably download where you can play as like Shrek and like other characters and stuff. It's really strange, some of the stuff that you can do. So the easiest way to go out of bounds would probably be... Starting from here. Here. You guys pr might already know this process. See, it's uh, it, it, it brings me back higher up in the air each and every time. So then I can just like do a crazy jump, go to the other side. Actually, maybe if I teleport to... Which area would allow me to do it the fastest? Probably this area, because I can get on top of the police station. And then we can do a little bit of exploring. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Actually, I'm going to go all the way back to that debug camera, because I we can take a look at the extra sock. So here's the camera, and I can use, nope. So 
So can I even, I guess I can't use the controller for it. So hold on, let me go back. Did it crash again? I think it crashed again. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that sock inside of the, the theater. See if it's still there. Because we can use the camera to do that. So it's basically a, a free camera. Free cam. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't here, squ here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. Yes, I would love to see that. Okay, so if I just, if I go back. Wait. So, all right, here we go. Let's go to the camera. All right. Now I can take the camera wherever I want. And we're just gonna go into the theater. And just take a look. There's so many references you can do. There it is. And if I remember, I wish I could remember how to teleport. Because then I'd just be able to collect it right here. But you can see it in there. And another thing. This is what I was doing as well. When I was trying to find another way to get this sock. Because the original way had been patched. And a lot of people were asking me if there was another way. Um, on that video that I made, I was trying to find an 82nd sock because there might be one in there. I'm not really good with digging through games files. I have not know nothing about that, so maybe someone has already disproven the 82nd sock theory. But the thing is, if there was one right here, which is kind of out in the open, that's why people could see it in the first place. I think that there could have been an 82nd, and I was looking for one using this this camera because. Like, it can be anywhere. There's so many different... I mean, there's so many different areas to look, different levels, all that. How do I turn, how do I turn the camera? What's up? Uh, for some reason, every time that I, like, trying to go in-game in here, the monitor, like, turns black. No. I'm streaming right now. No, you have to reset the PC. Why? That's how that's, that's, that's what it does. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't doing this the entire time. Let me show you. Is it just kind of flicker on and off? Yeah, I can... Yeah, it's because you need to restart it. If I move over here, it'll it'll play. That's what I've been doing mo for the most, most of the time. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to use... I had to use the, the mouse real quick. So I had to put it in the other window. But yeah. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Is that there might be an 80 second sock in this game. But I just couldn't find one. I might look for one still. If somebody knows how to look at the game's files and just see if there's one in there so I don't waste my time. And I don't know if anybody's already done that. Then that would be great. But I don't know. I like looking around. Maybe there's some extra stuff that isn't a sock. Just secret shiny objects. Or other collectibles. I don't know. Dude, an extra golden spatula would be insane. I think it's possible. Obviously with this tool I can get as many as I want. But... Whatever. All right. But that's a dream. Find the extra extra sock so that people don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, don't have to worry about um, getting the 81st and then find a way to get the 82nd. That's what I'm trying to do at least. I just don't know if I'll be able to. What else can I do that's fun? Do I have all the... I don't have any of the power-ups, but if you guys... So, okay, so here's a cool little trick. So you see how... You guys might already know this, but you see how a lot of the levels just aren't unlocked yet because I'm using a different save file. If you pull up the menu and you go to a level that's already unlocked and then you go over to one that you want to go to and you're playing on the PC version and you have a controller ready... If you press A and the space bar at the exact same time in 144th of a second, 
uh, you will be able to teleport to that level you have not unlocked because you press, you basically press uh, A twice at the same time, and the game just registers that as two presses, and it's just weird. Let's try and get it. Nope. It's a cool little trick that you can do, but you have to be very precise. Nope, let's not go there. For, for some reason, the game just can't register it. What you're doing, at least. Sometimes you can get lucky and do it on the first try. I know people when the game was were just came out and they were speedrunning on PC. This is what they would use to get the final level, like three minutes, or immediately, or beat the game in three minutes. And when you're speedrunning, you just had to get a really good click because I said 100. One one hundred forty fourth of a second. I have not seen any of Ant Dude's uh, retros uh, SpongeBob retrospectives, but I used to watch a lot of Ant Dude Ant Dude back in the day. His old Sly Cooper videos and platformer videos. I used to love watching those. Ah, see, it's very hard to get. It's very hard to get, but you can do it. Let me try this again. Ah. I used to be good at this. What happened? Anyways, let me unlock the levels again. Or I'll just uh, I'll load the one we were playing earlier. Yeah, they forgot to put some safeguards on this game to load other characters into areas that they're not supposed to, which is awesome. Hopefully, they do it in, in um, Cosmic Shake. I don't know. I just I love breaking these games. It's just my favorite thing to do. Obviously, that's I mean that's what I'm streaming. So I guess that proves right there. So if you go just straight to the final boss like this, if you teleport, wait what? Never mind. They patched it. Dang it! You're supposed to automatically unlock all of the uh, power ups by doing that. For some reason, it is not working though. It's not working. Oh. Dude, I don't know how people stream for eight hours a day. I don't know how they do it, man. I am just. Ugh, I need some exercise. Yeah, dude, Ant Dude was a lot of fun to watch. Um. I don't know. I used to watch a lot of like game reviewers and stuff. I just haven't much, haven't done it as much lately. But I might actually do want to check out the SpongeBob videos. But being someone who's like actively in the SpongeBob community, I had seen so many SpongeBob videos that I just, I had I haven't checked them out yet. Dude, there's like some some serious lag going on with the controller. I'm gonna have to disconnect it real quick. Tomorrow, hopefully, we're gonna have a more clear and concise stream, and I can figure some stuff out beforehand. All right, let's try and get out of bounds again. I know over here it should be a lot easier. So we just start over here. It, I mean, if if you guys ever wanted to explore this little area, this is that's how you do it. And you can do this in any of the versions of the game. And I, I really want to if I figure out the teleporting thing. Uh, before tomorrow's stream then uh, then we can have some real fun because I won't have to do stuff like this I can immediately teleport out of bounds anytime that I want and we'll have a good time with that and I can do it with any of the characters not that it really matters when you teleport I guess it doesn't really matter when you can teleport it doesn't really matter what character you are at that point but I mean Sandy's definitely a good one to have what's going on where am I no, no, I just lost it. Dude, for the reason I didn't, like, move... And me oh. The reason I didn't move immediately is because I thought for some reason it had placed me inside of the museum, and I got really excited for a second because I thought I was about to collect that sock. Yeah, Canadian guy A is a is a trooper. Then, streaming 
it it looks so easy. Like I, mean, I stream every once in a while. It it's pretty r rare that I stream, but when I do, it takes a lot out of you. It's like when you're in school and you know you take a really big test and you're exhausted afterwards because you're just mentally drained. And it, and if you're like me and I'm you're speaking the entire time, your voice will hurt at the very end. I mean, it's not like the most rugged thing a person can do. I'm just saying, it it doesn't seem like it would take that much out of you, but it does. I would... I'm not saying that I couldn't, but I would never want to do a 12-hour stream. The only, re the only way I would do a 12-hour stream is if a new Sly Cooper game came out, and I would play that for 12 hours straight. Then I would. For sure, I would do that. And, to be honest, I, it might be worth it for Cosmic Shake if I get in there and I immediately start finding some fun stuff to do. Heck, I can put the Unreal Engine Unlocker onto that game once somebody has created a tool for it and mess around with Cosmic Shake bef a, a week after it, it comes out. Just like this. And heck, maybe, since it's basically running on the re rehydrated stuff, I might just have a lot of those tools to my just ready to go once Cosmic Shake comes out. We'll see. Yeah, dude, 40 plus minutes. Like, your voice will just, like, crap out, I guess. It doesn't take long. I think we're getting there. Eventually, it's just not going to register, and we'll be able to get out of bounds. And I can show you guys some cool stuff before we move on to the next stream. But for tomorrow, I w I'm going to try and get like a clear and concise. We're going to go here, here, and here, take a look at this, figure out the teleporting, and we'll have a lot of fun. We're getting really high up at this point. And you've given me, so, Blue Knight, you've given me a little bit more of a, um, inspiration when it comes to trying to get that 81st sock again. I want to figure out how to do it in the current version of the game. Make an updated video, because that video did really well. And to be honest, it's just kind of cool. What do I think of Rehydrated as a remake of BFBB? To be honest, I don't think anybody else could have done a much better job. As it really just is a remade Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's kind of hard to mess it up. The only thing I would say that maybe somebody else could have done better is fig figuring out these load times. Other than that, it's perfectly fine. But that was only a problem on the console version. I play on PC most of the time. And load times are great. Gameplay is a little slow as well, which they seem to be remedying in uh, Cosmic Shake. That seems a little bit a little more fast-paced, a little bit more similar to the original Battle for Bikini Bottom. But other than that, I think they did a great job. Visually, it looks amazing. It looks very pretty. Thing is, though, it's not very s stylized, I guess. It's the only thing. is It doesn't really remind you much of SpongeBob, the style at least. But it doesn't have to. They kind of put their own spin on it. Like I said, it still looks really good. We got to be getting there. We have to be getting there. Like, we're very high up now. And we're not even reaching the bottom. We're not even reaching the ground now when it decides to retrieve us. So we got to be getting there. Dude, yeah, I really hope these load times, fingers crossed, the load times are <laughs> are acceptable <laughs> with Cosmic Shake. I mean, I don't have to deal with them with the PC, but those you console folks, because it seems to be a bigger game than Rehydrated, so I'm just like, I'm a little cautious about that. It reminds me a lot of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, which I think... They probably could have been remedied 
you know, like delaying the game a little bit, real really focus on getting those load times down. But is it really something you super need to focus on because you can totally patch it? Probably not, I guess. But it never was patched. <laughs> Yeah, so the thing is, is eventually, for some reason, once you get high enough here, it won't register that you're out of bounds anymore. So, like, the sliding animation right here won't play, and you'll just be able to walk on the ground. But it takes a while. You gotta get really high up, and then it, the game will just give up, or it won't register or something, because you're just, like, completely out of bounds. But usually with the de the debug camera, I can just straight up teleport out of bounds, which would be awesome if I could do that right now because it's almost time to end the stream in about 12 minutes, and I, I, I should definitely have it by then, but it would have given me more time to explore. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I did it. <laughs> told you guys. I told you guys it would work. All right. It just takes a long time. And I want to be careful here because I can just fall off the edge on accident. No. Oh, the controller drift almost got me there. <laughs> What's going on, Nightbane? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, so if you guys ever want to do explore this stuff, here it is. A lot of it is just not solid because it doesn't need to be. This is Kelp Forest, guys, in all of its glory. Ooh, let's go to um, two jellyfish fields. The small jellyfish fields, I could, I could, should say. And here's the Great Void. With uh, <laughs> you can just jump down there. I'm not going to, so we can continue to explore the Great Void for Rock Bottom. Yeah, I told you I told you it would work, but it just takes way too long. This is I would do that like I made a video when Rehydrate came out of going out of bounds, like showing all the out of bounds stuff and like all of the levels, and I had to do that particular trick like 30 times. It took a long time to make that video. Let's go around. Actually I just don't want to fall through the bottom of the map because I won't be able to get myself back. And cause and that'll be that. This water though I don't believe will hurt me. See? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. See? <laughs> awesome. But you can also do this in the original game as well, which I think is I think it's interesting how both the original game and Rehydrated have systems in place where it makes it very easy to get out of bounds in both of them and explore just like this. I love exploring the low poly versions of these levels. It's very interesting. This just doesn't seem right. <laughs> doesn't seem like you should be able to do this. <laughs> Spongebob turns into Jesus, walks on water. Yep, here's Rock... Not Rock Bottom. He was Jesus. Yep. I like how your name's the Hell Inspector. And you just, <laughs> and you just put that in chat. That's awesome. Can we expect Cruise Boost King 2 or a Cosmic Shake? Asking because of the community post you made. Dude, I don't think so. I planned on it, but it's just, it's a quite the undertaking. Cosmic Shake King can still happen. Will it happen at launch? No. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I am not one to have very much talent when it comes to writing rap songs. I'm very white. <laughs> nah, but it'd be fun to go, oh, this is solid. To do it eventually. I'll do a I'll eventually do a Cruise Boost King 3. Whether it's Cosmic Shake King or not, we'll see. We'll see. Seriously, dude, how do you do, how do people do twelve uh 
12 hour streams. I mean, I did cruise, I did cruise boost King 2 with the, the shift disc track. But I did say something about Cosmic King boost. Wait, Cosmic Ki Cosmic Shake King song. And uh, I don't think I'm going to get around to that. I, maybe I will. I don't know, dude. I get random bursts of uh, energy and motivation for that type of stuff. So you never know. It, w it was really fun making songs. Because I had never done that before. To make a rap song about Spongebob. It was a lot of fun. It was really funny too. And I feel like my editing skills have gotten a lot better since both those videos. Number one and two. So I could make a really cool video out of it. Seven minutes guys. We'll be able to close this out by exploring the entirety uh, of this out of bounds area. Ooh, let's not fall through here. Yeah, that was te that, that was uh, technically the Cruise Boost King 2. The Shift Disc Track. I gotta say, that was some of the most fun I've ever had making a video, the Shift Disc Track. Dude, I'm not even pressing anything. <laughs> There's just massive drift. I think it's just the connection to the PC. I don't even think it's the controller itself. Yeah, Rehydrated, it's it's just buggy, but it's still a great game. But I like buggy stuff like that. So, for me personally, it wasn't a big problem. The only problem I had was the load times. And the PC version didn't have that problem, so it's like... Almost did a perfect job, in my opinion. If it had cruise boosting in it, it would have been ten times better, but... Can't have it all. <laughs> I could do. I thought about doing like a remake of Cruise Boost King One called Cruise Boost King Rehydrated. Now that would be awesome. And get like a feature on it, like a, oh no, not a remake, but like a remix, Cruise Boost King Rehydrated. Get a feature on there <laughs> for new verse. That'd be interesting. Let me put my hair. Yeah, dude, I would love to come back for some, like, Cosmic Shake collabs because there's, like I said, I'm just so excited for that game. I don't know what we would do yet. I Obviously, I want to do some challenges with it, like, obviously, without collecting the, the Cosmic Goo with maybe just playing as Spongebob. Wait, never mind. Don't you do that anyways in Cosmic Shake? I think you just play as Spongebob anyways. I don't know. We'll come up with some interesting um, what is it? Uh, challenges for that. I'm already, I'm being mentally drained right now, but yeah, dude, I'd I'd love to do some videos. Yeah, I saw some uh, jankiness in Sonic Frontiers. Like I said, I don't pay attention too much to Sonic, but <laughs> I saw some interesting glitches. That's just what it, it really just what happens with a lot of those open world games because there's so much that they gotta account for. All right, we made it all the way around. Let's make it back. We made it all the way around town. Bring it around town. Then you do this. So, like, you can continue to walk over here, like, uh, without it registering. But as soon as you get back up onto uh, regular land, it'll register that you're now inbounds and you won't be able to go back out of bounds. So, see if I come back, it'll play. It'll place me back there. Yeah, yeah, dude, I don't know what I was thinking. I know Spongebob's the only playable character. I had to think about it for a second. Maybe the challenge would be to play as another character. I don't know, man. I don't know. Easter egg video would be fun. Oh, dude, we gotta talk about this. Hey, Tucker. Stream is about to end, guys. Dog just came in here. Come here. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not at my house right now, but it's my cousin's dog. 
What's up, buddy? There you go. That's Tucker, everyone. Got three minutes left. What can I do with three minutes? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go into the chum bucket real quick. Grab a golden spatula, because why not? We got to pad out this time. <clears throat> We need 75 golden spatulas to get in here. I have 1,041, so I think that might be enough. Yeah, dude, glitch hunting is what keeps games alive for me. Like, I've probably sunk 2,000 hours. Seriously. Maybe. No, that seems like too much. I might have sunk 2,000 hours. It's definitely at least 1,000 hours into Sly 2. You know, and well over 100 hours at least into Rehydrated. So, just just by like glitch hunting, speed running, whatever it is, just finding new ways to play. And I'm going to be doing that with Cosmic Shake a lot. Beats Cosmic Shake as Crash Bandicoot. I think it's possible. I think it's possible. You know, you can always find a way. But, hey, guys, I'm going to have to end it here because we're about to move on to the next stream. Shoot, um, I'm blinking on who's streaming next. Hold on. Um, I'll come back and put it in chat here in a second. I'll go ahead and put it in chat. Take a look at the schedule. Dude, I remember I just had the schedule up, and I read it, and then I forgot immediately. Okay, Tappy with the Gmod video. Okay. Hopefully I can get the link here. Let me go to the, the Tiltify page to see if it is up yet. And I can direct you guys over there. And, alright, we have now reached $384. Thank you all, everybody, for, for joining, for donating, all that. I'm about to make my donation. Hopefully you guys entered your raffles and the giveaways and... Best of luck to you guys for getting all that stuff, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, let me go ahead and grab this link real quick. And I will send you guys over there. Well, I actually just... Actually, if you just check the link in the description... Um, at the Tiltify page, that should take you straight to the next stream. Thank you all so much for watching. Just check the description at that, at that Tiltify page, and you'll be able to find it.